Let's get back to it. Turn one, the defense of Frankfurt. It is the, uh, the activation is for the 79th Guards Tank Division, the only one of those um, battalions uh, that are on the map right now. Uh, is the fort one of the 45th, first of the 45th, but um, yeah, they're rolling. So we have to first clear the ops complete. Usually you can do that with the headquarters, but I must have done something during the module setup that. Um, might have put the wrong headquarters with this formation or something when I was pulling units. So I do it by hand, and uh, here we go. So this is going to be tough on these German territorial troops. They're going to have a hard time standing up to this charge right now. Uh, as a result of that, I mentioned in the last video that I was going to reposition these infantry units here, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think they need to hunker down back here and hope for the best. So, uh, let's do a command check here. And uh, all of the units of this battalion are in command. Let's make a single rally check for this reduced tank platoon and let's make sure I can see the result and it fails so it's going to just be sitting there and <clears throat> the rest of the the outfit is going to move so there's one manga that has a chance to shoot here and all the rest of these territorial units are either disrupted or ops complete or both and so the Russians can do pretty much whatever they want to do. Now, to start with, maybe they should. Maybe this one. No, you know what? This tank needs to move so that the other tanks can get across the bridge. So, yeah, let's move and... Pretty sure that there's still line of sight here. So, uh, I don't think there's any sense in holding. Well, actually, you know what? Of course, I forgot the solo assistant, what it's telling me to do. So, for point blank range, it says fire or make a low risk move. And for within effective range, fire the closest vehicle or move towards. Um, I, I just think I need to, well, no, you know what, let's, um, let's go ahead and use the solo assistant. So, a disrupted unit is not allowed to move closer to an enemy unit that is in its line of sight, and if it moves in, nah, so it can't move. So, yeah, so we're going to have to override this fire order and just move, because that we need to have this hex available for other units to pass through. Uh, putting them there and getting jammed up like that was too bad. So the Ramunga is going to take its two shots with five dice. And it makes no hits. And it is ops complete. And so that is the last reaction that any of these West German troops can have to the Russians moving forward here. So that was a move of one. I mean, it probably just makes sense to go ahead and roll right into here, right, and just do an assault. So we've got two dice needing four. That's two hits, and the Munga gets a single die needing five, and it scores no hits. So, I'm not sure if this, I think this is a single step unit. Yes, it is. So, it is eliminated, and that was one, two, three, and that's enough, and it, the vehicle is, the Russian tanks are ops complete after having 
conducted the assault. So now these other Russian units can move around and do what they want to do. See what the range here is. So this would be a point blank shot for these tanks. I think it makes sense to take one crack at the at the the Patton tank there. The Jag Panzer doesn't seem like a terribly big threat. Um, so just to see how volley fire works, we'll go ahead and do a no, nah, that doesn't make sense to do volley fire here. So we're in point blank range. The solo assistant is saying to fire or make a low risk move. So we're going to go ahead and fire. So uh, three dice needing threes at the Abrams for one of these Soviet tanks. And that's three hits. And uh, the Abrams gets three saves needing six and then two saves needing five. So that is saves one of the three hits and saves two of the three hits. That is not enough because it is already reduced and disrupted, and so now it is wrecked. This tank is ops complete. This tank will now take a shot at the Jagged Panzer. Uh, same thing. Three dice needing threes. Only one hit, and so the Jagged Panzer gets a save for its armor and two saves for the terrain, the city, and the bus. So it gets three dice needing fives, and it saves. And so it remains a thorn in the Russian sides. So this stack here is also at point blank range. And so the assistant is saying to fire or make a low risk move. Uh, there's no risk to any moves here, but this tank will go ahead and fire. Same deal, three needing threes three hits and so um, three saves at five for the Jagged Panzer saves one of them and that's not going to be enough because even though it does have a second step it's already disrupted and so it is wrecked and this unit is now ops complete now So, yeah, the orders do say to fire. I'm not sure how wise I think that really is. This unit here is not, does not have line of sight to or from it. And so, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, well, one thing we don't want to do is make an assault across the bridge. So this tank will go ahead and fire over here at one of these Munga units. It's, uh, again, three needing three. That's three hits. And the Munga is soft skin, so it gets... Um, it is not concealed because it's marked ops complete. So it gets uh, a save for being in the city. It's a soft skin vehicle. So three. So this is going to... It doesn't matter if it saves it saves one, but I'm pretty sure these are single step, right? Um, they are, so it took two hits, which means it's disrupted and then wrecked. And this unit is ops complete. And what do we have here? We have, we do have line of sight. Um, I'm going to again counterman things just a little bit because this we need to clear this road. One, two, three. I'm going to say that uh, the closest I can come to following these orders is to do a move and fire. So that's now, um, it would lose a die for having moved. So it's two dice needing threes because this is point blank range. I'm right about the range, correct? I am. So three dice needing threes. And there's a single hit. And so the Munga gets... Um, one save for being in the woods and it fails to save and so the manga is disrupted and this tank is now ops complete the this tank I think we're going to do something very similar we're going to move one two Three, I think we still have line of sight there. I move and fire order. Yep, 
so it's going to be the same thing. Um, two dice needing threes at this manga that's left up here. Oh no, wait a minute. This. Yeah, no, it doesn't have line of sight there. All right, here we go. Two dice needing threes. One hit, and the uh, manga gets uh, a single save, and it fails to save, and so it is disrupted. And this tank is ops complete. Uh, what else have we got here? The headquarters could call in some artillery fire, and that probably makes some sense. It could call in some indirect fire from the self-propelled artillery. Should have given them a self-propelled mortar, too, this outfit. Ah, uh, yeah, it has line of sight there. I don't think it has line of sight here. So, remember, this is onboard indirect fire, so this is... Um, just activating a unit here, so I don't have to do this first like you do with off-board fire, which I forget sometimes. So, let's see how we do. Checking for scatter. It is on target, and so three dice needing fours. That's a single hit, and a single save for the Munga. Fails to save. And it goes from being disrupted to being wrecked. The artillery unit is ops complete. That bridging unit doesn't need to move quite yet. Uh, is there any way to get into range to take a crack at these troops here? So let's do this. Let's send one of these tanks. One, two, three three, four, five, six. It still gets to fire. It loses two dice. It's going to fire with a single die needing three. Scores a hit, and it's firing at the already disrupted unit, which now gets a single save for the woods, and it saves. Hangs in there. Now the tank with the headquarters unit is going to move one, two, three. It's going to fire at the undisrupted unit, uh, it loses one die for moving and gets two back for the headquarters, so that becomes four dice needing and threes. I am still point blank, right? Yeah, point blank. So um, four dice needing threes, and now only one hit, and the Munga gets a save, but it does not save. So now that, that unit is also disrupted. Seems like... They, uh, they're doing their job here, wouldn't you say? They are. Their job is to slow the Russian advance, and I think that they are doing that very well. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. I'm trying to see if this BRDM can get into a place where it could take a shot, but it cannot. So... Two, three, four, five. I think. Six. That was a weird path it took, but that's where they are. And one, two, three, four, five. I th yeah, six. I'm just going to end up in the same place there. I don't want them to just get a random pot shot taken at them before one of these units recovers. And the bridging unit, just one, two, three, four, five. The anti-aircraft unit. This, now, this unit has some firepower. 
but it's also lightly armored. And we don't we don't need it to get shot up. Just want to make sure that we're out of line of sight there. They are, so they will stop right there. Route to ops complete the bridging unit. Hope I get to use the bridging units. I like them. And now the trucks carrying the artillery. One, two, three. Remember, I'm just going to turn these into counter battery units. Four, five, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Yeah, that's what I want to do. They're going to end up right there. And then on the next turn, I think I'm going to move them down and deploy. Well, maybe I'll deploy one in the woods here and one in the woods here and indicate they are counter battery units, which I'm very excited to play out. I think that's a great rule and a fun thing in this game. And so that is that. If a West German, well, I'll talk about it if it happens. Okay, that's the first end operations and. Now the Soviet designated formation. Now this card can activate any Soviet formation, but it is not allowed to be used to activate a formation three times in a turn. I don't know if that applies to a formation that has initiative to start the game or not. I don't know if that counts as an activation. I think that that means that it begins the game activated. And so I'm just going to go ahead and say that uh, here we go again with the Soviets uh, and the poor, poor West Germans. They never had a chance. Okay, we will redeploy the headquarters to be with the disrupted. Uh, and reduced tank there to so try to make it rally a little bit more likely and it would fail normally but the headquarters being there allows it to recoup get itself together and so there we have it let me oh I forgot about command range Oh, I'm going to have to make a command roll for these folks. Well, no, I can just deploy the headquarters to them. Oh, no, I'll tell you what I'll do next time. We'll, I'll show you my little, little trick that I'm going to play. But for now, I'm going to get the command range turned off on, eesh, on this headquarters. And we're going to get uh, moving here. Let's see what the solo assistant tells us to do. Yeah, fire or low risk move. Uh, these are all, I think I talked about this, right? There's some offensive minded cards and some regular cards here. These are the regular cards. Down here, you see the little icon if it's on the offensive. And um, so, you know, fire or low risk move. Again, I. There are some instructions about assault. It seems to me that the most likely way to clear these suckers out of here right now is to make an assault. One, two, three, four. So that's what we're going to do. This tank here, this platoon, I believe, is capable of clearing them out. It will roll two dice, needing four. That's a single hit. And each of them will roll a die, needing six, because they're disrupted. Oh, wow, I was wrong. So one of those disrupted units is going to be wrecked, but the other one holds fast and disrupts and ejects this tank back from whence it came. One, two, three, four, five. That would be an across bridge assault, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Get up there. Take a single die shot. Be rolling through the town. I don't think we need to worry about that. I think we're going to all try to flood down this way, let this infantry try to make its way back to be a defender. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and send 
So I send one at a time. I'm going to go ahead and send, taking a chance here, the reduced tank platoon with the headquarters. So it's going to get three dice needing four on this assault. There's two hits, so that will clear it. And one needing six. No hits, so that they have wrecked it. And that's too many units. This unit's back there still. So you see how uh, that allows. You, you can't overstack in this game. You can't move through a fully stacked hex. And so this allows these units to move here, which is what we want to do. We don't have any shots at any defenders here. So now it's all just moving. Let's ops complete this unit. Suzanne, it's great that you've got pictures of your pet. I don't need to see them right now. I will look later, I promise. Uh, yeah, okay. So we're just going to keep moving here. One, two, th yeah, one, two, three, four. five, six, and so the, I think that we have a, so the, the West Germans do have a Milan anti-tank guided missile, but it has a minimum range, and so it cannot fire under these circumstances, and so, but the infantry can fire by itself with its um, two dice needing six, no hits, and so the tank that is ops complete now will get a single die needing a three. That's a hit, and the infantry will get two saves for, oh no, actually, so that, that didn't matter. The improved position handles that business. So what we're going to try to do now is just one, two, three, four, five. Six. There's no sense in firing because they cannot do any damage to it. They want to just be able to get in a position where they can bring fire down on this infantry unit. I don't think we have any other tanks that can get close. One, two, three, four, five. Six right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The bridging unit and the an aircraft unit. One, two, three, four. That's good for them. These recon units. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the BRDM has a range of seven. They're going to move there. Uh, I forgot to un-ops complete this. Have I messed this up? Yeah, no, this is this is right. Okay, so it gets to move. One, two, three, four, five. Now I have to. I forgot to make command check for this hex up here. See if I can move these trucks. Cannot. They are out of command. So, we use here all ops complete, ops complete, you know, I, whatever, I'm going to remember that this whole entire formation is ops complete and cannot activate again this turn no matter what. So, 
Let's see what comes next. Uh, so the 51st Panzergrenadier Battalion, uh, by scenario rule, these German, West German units that are deployed on the map farther back are not able to activate on turn one. So I theoretically should not have those cards in the pile, but I do. Second end operations card. And so the West German territorials never did activate. And so... Their headquarters will move on to the end operations card, which will rest right here. And their formation will definitely activate next turn, although who knows when. And uh, normally I wouldn't go through all this right now, but I'll just see what do we have coming in this turn. So that smoke, that artillery smoke, is a Soviet smoke mission. I'll get to it in a minute. So, so this, um, these headquarters here, these are the West German units that are deployed to the map. I had them here as a reminder not to activate them. Uh, they've got a leader coming in. This, um, this unit here is my way of indicating that this scratch force that I have, this what I call the recon scratch force up here, uh, what these I just made up, I thought it would be cool to have a whole group of um, a, or a, a unit whose main purpose was to run around and try to call in artillery fire. I just thought that would be fun and interesting. So, um, yeah, that's who they are over there. Uh, no, that guy's not part of it. Uh, he just was the reminder. So the scratch force is in, and the uh, Soviets get a smoke mission. And uh, the next uh, Soviet formation is going to come in also, the next uh, big bopper tank formation. And I believe that this, I can't remember how I did it. Maybe the leader is supposed to activate. They don't really have a headquarters. I can't remember. One of, the, one of those icons is the unit. All right, so, um, yeah, that is... That is it. The scratch force needs to be uh, in the formation deck. And the Soviet unit that is coming on doesn't need a card because it is part of the um, it is part of the 79th or whatever that is. But that that unit is right here. It's another you know, full battalion of T-80 tanks. Let's move them down here so that they're available to enter when their card is pulled. Uh, we will delete all the admin markers and we will remove the movement trails. No, we'll leave the movement trails up to remind me that those aren't on the map yet. And uh, we will end the first turn log file and end this video here. See you at the next one.